didn't know you were like some Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> if I can do it, then you can do it too. Welcome to Easy Korean Cooking. Danny. David. And I'm a terrible cook. Okay. And today we're gonna make some seaweed soup, traditional Korean dish that's um, very popular. You eat it on your birthdays or after you give birth. David didn't give birth to anybody or it's not his birthday, but we're gonna make it because we're, it's a very special day today. This is our first episode and it's a very, very easy Korean dish that you can enjoy. So the ingredients, it's very, very simple. The ingredients, you have some dry seaweed. You can get this in your local Asian market. A half a cup of beef. Then you have minced garlic or chopped up garlic. This is also, you know, you can get this in any Korean market. Then you have soy sauce and anchovy sauce. You don't really need to have this, but this is important if you want to have like a more Korean type of tasting dish. And then we have sesame oil. And this is also something that you can probably find in your Asian market. First no of salt. all- No salt? No salt. So actually Korean dishes, uh, there's not a lot of salt a lot of times. It's mostly just soy sauce yeah. that's doing most of the seasoning. The first step is very, very simple. Take a handful. This is good enough for, I would say, about 1 to 1.5 people. Yeah. Um, and you might think this is not enough, but this gets really, really bloated. So add some water, mm -hmm. like this. Oh my. Oh my god! What are you doing? <laughs> add some water like this. I don't know what this dude is doing. <laughs> and then keep it here for like 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, it will look like this. And in the meanwhile, we're gonna cook beef. Mm -hmm. Are you my assistant? Yes. I am Danny's assistant for today. Can you heat up this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, David doesn't know how to okay, use this stove? Of course I know. Okay. It's... How do you how do turn this on? Basically, it's very easy. Like, an idiot could do it, I could do it. It takes some... Um, no water? Sesame. You just no, put it no water, straight off? No oh. water. So we're gonna cook the uh, beef first. Okay. So you take some ah. sesame oil, just give it a handful. Uh -uh. Like, you don't need to be like, you know, precise in your measurements. That looks like a lot. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Actually, oil. my function here is to doubt every movie. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, I'm gonna take this beef. And is it warm enough? Oh. I think it needs to be warmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This induction is horrible, it's like... Seven hours later. David's getting impatient. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna just... Since David's no, getting impatient... No, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's boiling. Okay. Wait, wait. You gotta hear the sizzle. There's no sizzle. Wait, wait for it. Hey, I'm the chef. Who's the impatient? Shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm the chef. Oh my god. <laughs> One eternity later. This is bubbling, so cook it for about like two minutes. And we're just gonna add some soy sauce. Just, just like three. Three is a good number. Are you I like. Sure? I like number three. Sounds really salty. You want this to be marinated before the water is added. And now you're gonna. Why is this so? Uh, <laughs> why is this water? Look like it's not clean, I don't know. So we're gonna put some water into this and this will be the basis for CV soup. So actually the step was supposed to happen before I added the water, but it's okay. This is easy cooking with Danny and David. We can mix up some steps and still get a good result. Um, by the way, the water levels, um, you don't need to be exact. You can always add more water later or boil it a little bit more. But after you've done this, you wanna add the garlic. And basically, uh, just a, a tablespoon is enough. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, with Korean dishes, like, I don't know if you guys like garlic, but Korean people love garlic. And anything that like you add garlic in, it'll taste good, probably. And then if you have the anchovy sauce with you uh, from an Asian market, you can also add a tablespoon of that. And then, we're just gonna let it be and cook it for about 20 minutes and then you'll have your seaweed soup. 30 minutes or 20 minutes have passed and as you can see, it smells nice, eh? Not so far, yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, the uh, color, let me see the color. 
Okay, the color. I didn't know you were like um, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you eat this on your birthdays, like this is every single birthday you eat this. Yeah, it's a special food, and we also eat it like just on a regular mm -hmm. basis. And we eat it with rice. Uh, we don't have rice today, so we're just gonna taste a little bit. Wow. This is the only moment that matters. Yes, exactly. Let me see if his recipe is legit. So far, the uh, I'm pretty surprised because the color of the soup is not bad. Yeah, this, this, is, this is how Miyoko looks like. Yeah, this is the standard Easy color. Cooking. There's like sometimes it can be more clear or sometimes it can be more like bluish. He's eating more. This is a good sign. Mmm. Oh, it's not bad. Mmm. Yeah, it's not bad. It's good. Mm. It's actually good. I would give this a pass. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is a pass. Okay. Yeah. Well done. So there you go. This is seaweed soup, miyoko. Mm. It's a very easy dish. I did it. You can do it too. And all it takes is about 30 minutes cooking time. In fact, the order of cooking doesn't even matter. I kind of messed up at one point, but it was okay. I mean, Turned out okay. There are a lot of variations of miyoko. You can vary with seafood. You can right, put right, it like, right. Uh, clams or you yeah, know. you can get creative with this. Uh -huh. And at the end of the day, like, like the, the most beef important version. beef version is the most basic yeah. one. And the most important part is that you have seaweed, you have mm -hmm. garlic, mm -hmm. and you have soy sauce and anchovy sauce then you can't really go wrong. And what makes it even more tastier is you can put in MSG. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it yeah, tastes yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. The, try Miyoko at your house today. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to have dinner, my lunch.